Hi, my name is Painter Master Karen Boniker, and I'd like to introduce you to this new brush pack for Painter Essentials called Floral. And I'm going to take you through the brushes in the pack so you get a basic understanding of how to work with these great brushes. They're lots of fun. So I was finishing up this um, pastel painting and I thought, let me put some flowers into the foreground area. So I'm going to choose the very first brush called Cornflower. And cornflowers tend to be kind of a blue color. So um, let's start with this. And I'll go ahead and just put them in in little different places in the painting. And all it takes is a little bit of pressure on your stylus in just kind of a dabbing motion to get the little flower, uh, the little flowers to appear. And we'll just sprinkle them here and there in the painting. And maybe we'll do some different values of blue as well. For a little variety. The next brush is called Daisies and this brush is a lot of fun to work with. It's, it's a very nice brush simply for just painting with as well. Um, so I'm, I'm going to choose a white color here and decide, uh, you know, maybe I'll paint some uh, daisies in right about here. And I'm pulling from the inside or the center of the flower out. And just nice light pressure here. And then maybe we'll choose a yellow for the center and we can just put a little dab right in the center for those daisies. The next brush is Dracaena, and this one is nice for uh, creating the look of, um, let's go back, catch that brush. This one is nice for creating that look of um, leaves or foliage, um, and you know, maybe it would be a good one. Let's go a little lighter green here and use it to create our leaves for our daisies. And maybe even add a few for our cornflowers, something like that. The next brush is Java Fern, and again, this one is is a really lovely brush for uh, creating uh, the look of texture or um, that very lacy, ferny type of uh, brush stroke. And here, you know, I might use that kind of as a filler for this area. I love the loose expressive quality it has. You go with a little lighter green here. Use it just for some visual interest in the painting. The next brush is Lavender. And of course, lavender, we like using more of those violet purple colors. And we'll paint in some lavender into our landscape as well. And for this, it would be a good idea to maybe start with a darker value for your lavender. And then a little lighter value going over the top to create some highlights.
The next brush is called Roots. And this one is fun uh, for adding, again, some visual texture. It gives the appearance of, um, when I originally worked with it, I originally thought of orchid roots. So it kind of is a, is a good brush for if you're painting orchids or doing photo manipulation that actually has orchid on it. It's a good one to create that look of um, the roots coming out from the orchid plant. But here we'll use it just for a little bit of um, added visual interest and texture. The next brush is roses, and every garden should have a rose. So we'll pick a nice red color here, and maybe we'll decide to put our first rose in right about here. And this one is fun because you can just create all kinds of different rose shapes here and of course work with different um, values. Maybe we'll put another rose right up here. And maybe a smaller one right here. And maybe another smaller one here. And we'll go to another pink value and maybe put a smaller one here. So now we have some roses in our garden as well. The next brush is called Stamen. And this brush you would use to create the center of your flowers in case you wanted to um, add a little extra texture at the center of those flowers. Um, I mean, been thinking of oftentimes the rose will have some um, of the stamen coming out the top of the rose. And another nice little brush, very quick brush strokes. And it gives a nice little feeling of texture. To your flowers. The next brush is called Woody. And this brush I really like using um, to create stems for your flowers or just to um, add some nice woody texture or the feeling of branches coming out and stems. And the final brush is called Zinnia. And this one we'll use as our fill brush to fill in the rest of the garden uh, with color here. And we'll pick maybe some nice, we'll start maybe right in here with a nice big flower and just give, uh, put firm pressure down on that stylus and this flower will just paint itself for you. over to a nice pink color here. And with just a very quick pressure, you can get a smaller flower. And you can see how that fills in the garden. Maybe we'll try some Nice bright yellows as well. And 
And there you have your Zinnia Garden. These are great brushes to play with, lots of fun. Um, <clears throat> I think finally I would probably go in again with the woody brush here. And I'll go with a nice, uh, with a darker color here and maybe paint in some more stems and branches just to give some nice interest. The Dracaena brush, again, you could use that brush to get your leaves in if you wanted to add some more leaves. We'll go back to the cornflower one more time and with white we'll do a few little highlights and little color spots. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this um, demonstration of the new floral brush pack for Painter Essentials.